Koje Island in South Korea. The whole city revolves around Samsung Industry, the second largest shipyard in the world. The Blue Marlin has arrived safely in the port of Koje. The yard's managers have brought it here from the other side of the world for a very special operation. The shipyard is a city within the city. Each morning, 30,000 workers arrive in this giant factory, where they build 80 ships a year, more than one freighter per week. This is the realm of superlatives. There's a long week ahead for Yuri Ivanov, the superintendent of the Blue Marlin. Yuri lives in Lithuania. He has come specially to Korea to supervise the operations which are in preparation. Yuri knows everything about the Blue Marlin. He was its captain for 15 years. Well, for the moment, uh, Blue Marlin is the largest in the world. It has a beam of 65 meters, length 216 meters, and uh, no other vessel can do this job uh, for now. And uh, we did the same project a year ago, uh, similar to that, sister ship, rig, and it worked perfectly. And I think this, this year it will be also the same way. I'm ready to go. Good morning, Mr. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. Great to see you. Yeah. How are you? Fine. I'm uh, awesome. Good, good, good. Let's go to work, OK? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, ready? Yeah. Here's the Blue Marlin once again, and on the quay, it's cargo. The West Eminence is an oil rig built by the Korean workers of the yard in under two years. The Blue Marlin's job is to put this rig into the water for the first time. The Blue Marlin is the biggest submersible ship in the world, capable of carrying all sorts of cargo, the biggest and the heaviest, across any ocean. To load and unload a cargo by sliding it onto the rear deck, the Blue Marlin sinks deeper into the water by means of a simple ballast system using seawater which fills or empties according to the weight of the cargo to be transported. The loading of the rig has been in preparation for weeks. There's no room for approximation in this sort of job. The only thing that hasn't been planned is the weather. We're at the beginning of the rainy season, high heat and maximum humidity. But the operation must begin whatever the cost. Any delay in delivery costs a great deal. Millions of dollars are at stake. The imperturbable Mr. Kim supervises the task. Now a uh, heavy day, but we are now working. So we have to keep the schedule to do a better schedule and our client's uh, primers. Yeah, very important. Yeah. The workers set up the 300 steel cables that would drag the rig onto the boat sliding it slowly from the dock where it was built towards the deck of the Blue Marlin. The loading will take two days. Mark, the Englishman who supervised the building of the West Eminence, is inspecting the rig from top to bottom. So far, so good. We're looking for any loose items that may fall to the team that are performing the loadout operation okay, below sorry, us. Sorry, sorry. Some of the, the components on board the vessel can take up to 20 months to fabricate and supply. So at this late stage in the project, we don't want to damage anything either. 
You can never be too careful when you have to put 30,000 tons of steel into the water, especially when it represents $520 million, the price of the rig. Well, the West Eminence rig is sitting on the ground at the edge of the quayside. You can see below us the heavy lift vessel Blue Marlin alongside the quay. We have constructed rails out across her deck. And tomorrow morning, beginning early, we will begin to pull with the hydraulic cylinders and the wire ropes you see laying on deck and slowly drag, stroke by stroke, West Eminence across the edge of the quayside and onto the deck of the Blue Marlin. Blue Marlin is unique in the world. She has capability that nobody else can match, and she's pretty much the only vessel that would be suitable for our loadout. The inspection on board the rig has revealed no problems. The Korean workers can now begin the loading onto the ship. The 30,000 tons of steel are going to start to move. The 300 cables are attached to enormous hydraulic jacks. The success of the maneuver depends on the first minutes of traction. It's the moment of truth for Mark and Yuri. The masses are enormous, yet everything depends on millimeter precision. Just moved, just moved 50 millimeters both sides. Both sides, we apply a uh, tension of 90 millimeters. Good news. Good, very good news, yeah. It's all fine. As the rig advances, the ship becomes heavier, so it has to be lightened by an equivalent weight. Yuri is keeping an eye on the tide, a height that the ship must constantly compensate for by emptying or filling its water ballast tanks. Tide uh, amplitude is two and a half meters. Uh, but uh, for this loading operation, we have to be in level because we skid on. All the time we have to be in level. So we need to compensate and we compensate position of the vessel uh, level by uh, ballasting the ship. Here is, we installed, we installed the uh, measure, measure ruler, how we control manually, because uh, whatever prediction is, it's just prediction. We, we measure it every 10 minutes to be accurate, not to miss uh, tight. The rig advances at six meters an hour. The maneuver will take the whole day. It's action stations aboard the Blue Marlin. The ship will cast off in a few hours. This block supports the rig from the vertical mo uh, motion uh, uh, when, when, when vessel vessel is at sea. Yeah. And uh, also it doesn't uh, let this rig go off of the off her position longitude. So they have to begin again. It's a one-minute job in four locations. If you want to change the plan you need to come back and discuss. Don't just change your mind and don't inform us. No less than five tugs have been drafted in to maneuver the exit from the port of Koje. 
With its cargo, the Blue Marlin is nearly 90 meters wide. For Captain Vladimir, it's not a simple maneuver. Between the keys and the freighters, the pilot and the Blue Marlin's captain need to steer a straight course. The ship has just enough room to get through. It's not, 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 not in, as usual as we are doing <laughs> steering bow ahead, you know. But nothing we can do because there is not this space here to, to swing around, to, to, um, to turn around the vessel. Uh, so there's such cargo. I never think about the uh, cost of the platform, and, uh, but it's really huge. And cost of ship, and cost of, well, first of all, cost of lives on board. Uh, we have uh, uh, about 50 people now on board, so <laughs> this is uh, my first concern. And second, the uh, safety of the ship, uh, and safety of the cargo as well. To launch the rig, the captain has chosen a sheltered deep water bay not far from Koje. Ballasting operations to submerge the ship have begun, but Yuri has some concerns. There is coming some swell in, so we are a little bit worried with, with captain. We will, we will watch the uh, whole night uh, weather conditions. All through the night, the Blue Marlin will gently sink down. At dawn, the sea is flat, and the deck is nine meters below the sea's surface. The Blue Marlin's submersion has taken 13 hours, and the ship has changed its look. For now, vessel a vessel has weight of 120,000 tons, and uh, for complete uh, ballasting, when we reach our drafts, what required, we need another 10,000 tons. If we go uh, straight, uh, filling it uh, with our pumps, it required one hour to the final condition. Yuri is now aboard the rig. He is the one who will give the green light. Tension is at its height. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Kim, and good luck for towing. It's mission accomplished for the crew of the Blue Marlin. The operation has gone smoothly. Takes, takes maybe one day not to sleep well yet, to see it. Sometimes you're dreaming about it, sometimes you're dreaming after that. And there is a lot of emotion for you, huh? Yeah, right now, sorry. <laughs> Just released. Thank you. Too. Great. Okay, enough. Yuri's mission in Korea is over. In six hours, the time required to empty the vessel's ballast tanks, the Blue Marlin will have resumed its more normal lines.